Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Leeds Caravan Centre in West Yorkshire and I'm here to review this. It's the Bailey Alicanto Grande Porto. It's a four berth island bed caravan. It's a twin axle and I'm going to be giving the facts and figures and information about it. As you can see, it's a lovely Yorkshire day with a very brisk wind. So I'll do my best not to get blown away. Hopefully when we go inside, it will be better weather in there. So what do we need to know about it? Well, this is the first time I've had a proper look at the Alicanto range and in particular this Porto. I last had a look at Baileys probably back in around 2020, maybe 2021. And I'll be absolutely honest, I am actually quite impressed. I think there has been an improvement with the Bailey caravans. So we'll come to that as we move through the review. So the Porto, what do we need to know about it? Well, the Alicanto is the top of the range, eight foot wide models within the Bailey caravan range. And it's coming in with a rather large price tag, which I always like to start with so we know where we are. This caravan's retail price is £38,499. However, it's worth noting that's considerably cheaper than the Eldis Buccaneer range and the Coachman's. So bear that in mind as we go around. The Porto, it's eight feet wide. So this is a big caravan. Lengthwise, it is on the Alco chassis. It's 25 feet and 10 inches or seven meters and 86 centimeters. So it's not as long as some of its competitors, but still a good size. At the front, we do have the ATC control. And as you can see, there's no front locker. We'll cover where the gas is as we go round. But bear in mind, if you like your front locker for storage, you're not going to have that. Weight wise, now this is really interesting. So the MTPLM of the Porto is 1,847 kilos. That is heavy. The payload is 160 kilos. That's not bad. But what I really like is you can up plate this caravan to 2000 kilograms. That's going to give you a huge payload of 313 kilograms. If your tow car will take that amount, that 2000 kilos, I'd definitely be up plating. So, so far, so good. So the front, we've got the big sweeping window. Now this is a feature window of the Bailey, this big one piece as we can see here. Big white front, the body and the sides, it's the GRP Alutec from Bailey, which is really their showpiece of the caravan. They're very proud of that system. Starting up on the roof, we are going to get a solar panel as standard. We're going to get an aerial as standard, and we're also going to get Avtex Wi-Fi fitted as standard too. So there's plenty of stuff coming as standard for £38,500. The near side, so let's start where I always like to start. We've got the white sides and then we've got the decals. They're almost like a, a green colour, a little bit snaky like in a good way. We've got the Alicanto Grande here, as we can see. We've got an external whale gas barbecue point. So fantastic. We all like one of those. We've got our first locker box. Now you will find that the um, battery for the Porto is actually inside under the floor. We've got here a whale electric socket point. The door, now this is a two-piece door or stable door as some people call it. We've got a window with blind and then we've got a good size awning light as well for on an evening. Our Dometic vents, so we know we're going to find a Dometic fridge and freezer here when we go inside. 14 inch alloy wheels. They do have the Alco receiver and I believe you do get the Alco wheel locks with the Porto. The Porto also comes with an alarm and a tracker. You get a three month subscription included with that. Coming down, we've now got the window which is going to look into the bedroom. We'll see the bedroom when we go in. It is a nice bedroom. I'm, I'm looking forward to showing you the inside. I'm actually actually quite excited. We've now got another locker box here as well so that's going to give some storage here on this side of the caravan and if we venture around here now the back end the light is reflecting a little bit so I'm apologize if it's a little bit bright we, ha we have got some sunshine in Yorkshire we've got the large one-piece back end 
The grab handles are in black. We've got the light cluster, which is fairly simple. And then we've got the Bailey Alicanto Grande decal here as well. So that's the near side and the back end of the Porto. Let's dive around the off side and see what we're going to get on there. So we've dived round onto the off side. We've got some more storage here with this locker here. We have another window and then we're going to find our toilet cassette and external flush points. So we know we're going to find the washroom and toilet here. We have window up here now this funnily enough is the window actually into the um, the washroom and we'll have a look at that when we go in we do have a service light now i think this is a new addition you can all correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but i believe this is a new addition so if you arrive on site and it's dark then you can obviously switch this on and it's going to illuminate for when you're coming to the um, gas locker here or filling your flush and preparing your toilet and your water so i do i do like to see that on the off side of the caravans and as i said we've got a gas locker here now you can fit two six kilogram gas bottles within this locker so that should give you plenty of gas for if you're off grid or for cooking and barbecuing continuing down last but not least here on the off side We've got a good size window into the lounge. We can see we've got our vent for the Alda. The Porto does have the Alda wet central heating system and uh, hot water. And then we have got our electric hookup point here. So as I say, the battery is actually inside, but when you arrive on site, you're going to be hooking up here. So that's the exterior of the Porto. It is quite simple. Um, but it is it is a good looking van i'll say that and because it's not as long as some of its competitors it's going to be probably a little bit more maneuverable so we've seen the outside so far so good let's dive inside and have a look at the porto and if by magic we're now inside the porto so as always i'll start in the lounge area as I mentioned outside, we are going to get an alarm and tracker standard, and we are also going to find a 40 litre fresh water tank as well, which is really useful when you're on site and you don't want to go in backwards and forwards filling up your aqua rolls. Lounge area, what I do like is we get this nice sofa with a good sturdy grey fabric. That feels like it'll take plenty of wear and the seats feel well bolstered as well. Cushions, it is a nice colour scheme if grey is your thing. I personally really like grey, goes with just about everything. Um, the cushions, these are really nice texture. And what I do like is this backrest part here that we can see. If I take the cushions away, you can see how that's a wrap around. Um, I do like that so you can get cosy in these corners uh, when you are away in the caravan. And the headrests are a nice feature as well. And that goes for both sides. Now, the actual sofas themselves, these form two of the four berths. You can use these either as singles. Now, if you want to use these as singles, this one is six feet long and two feet and one inch wide. And this one is five foot 11 and two feet and one inch wide. If you want to convert this into one large double bed, it becomes a whopper. It's seven feet by four feet wide. So that is a big bed. So this is going to be a really good, useful bedroom area if you're using it as a four berth. I'll start here at the front. We can see this big Bailey window. And as I say, they really pride themselves on this. Like it or love it, that's the Bailey window. You're going to find on all the windows the pleated blinds and we can see these here the concertina effect i like these and a lot of other people do as well so we're going to find those all round as we come round we're going to find plenty of storage now i mentioned that you can up plate to get that massive 313 kilo payload and if you're going to fill your cupboards then that's going to be quite useful so in this cupboard we can see the aerial comes in here the aerial is standard we're going to then find a little cubby hole here and this is where we're going to find room for the radio that comes as standard as well and it has got a bluetooth feature to complement the radio we're going to get pioneer speakers dotted about around the caravan as well as we come down we're going to get fly screens and blinds on all the windows 
and underneath we've got a little light here, an LED, which has got a USB charging point and it's the same on the other side as well. One thing I've liked when I've had a quick look round are the USB points that I've found so far. Then we've got a little furry wall piece here uh, and somewhere to, to put magazines or books and what have you. Coming round, we do have the front locker, the chest. Again, people like these and I must say, this is a really good size. It's huge here and it does come up with the pull-out table. So if you're wanting to use this to eat at, you've got extra space here. And then there's plenty of drawers as well, as we can see here. And just down here, we're going to have a little drop down and again, a little bit of storage as well, just underneath. I'll close that up. So that's this front locker and chest. I'll just come on to the off side and we're pretty much just repeating ourselves here with locker space. We're going to find the Wi-Fi that I mentioned just in this cupboard here. Uh, and there we go, that's the Wi-Fi. So good locker space, plenty of nice lighting and a feature that I really like is this magic light button here. If I press this, you can actually change the colour of the lighting on the floor. Uh, I'll do that now. So you can just get an idea. It's got blue, green, yellow, red. So you can have some, you can have some proper fun with that. While you're looking at my feet and the lighting, it's interesting to note this, this floor. Now, since I last saw Bailey's, this is a new flooring uh, to me. And I really like it, actually. I like this grey colour. It's going to hide muck quite easily and, and other bits that, like that but it's a nice effect. I mentioned about the battery as well being on board that's actually stored there. I must say if I wasn't having carpet down I'm not so sure that I would be particularly happy at having to look at that every day but that is the only thing I've found so far that I'm, I'm not so keen on but otherwise um, it's all good. So that's the lounge area. I'm now going to make my way into this kitchen. Now, because the porto is eight feet wide, you really get the idea of space. And that is the benefit of these wider caravans. And another benefit is you can, you can get such a good amount of worktop space. So as I come in, we've got a little bit of a splash back here. So that's obviously just preventing things going onto your soft furnishings. This is a really good amount of worktop space. There's also room here for putting your drying when you've used the sink. We've got our hot and cold tap, which moves. We've got our control panel for the Alga, and that's for the wet central heating and for your hot water. We've got two sockets as well. That's always useful. I like to see plug sockets and we've got them. We've got this really nice splashback. They've actually put some thought into this. I do like this. And it's also got the Alicanto Grande here as well. So that's just a little bit of a, a nicer finish on this flagship eight foot caravan. Let's have a look at what we're going to get up here. So we're going to find a good size cupboard. We've got just open storage here and the shelving. There's a plug socket there. That's for the microwave. So as we come across, we can see the microwave. Now, this is Russell Hobbs, and it's actually plateless. And by plateless, I mean literally there's no plate. So you don't need to put a plate in here, so there's nothing that's going to come out when you're towing. So it's a good height microwave, but as I always say, it is directly over the Thetford oven and grill. So if you're using your hob, always just be careful of that. So we'll move along. Thetford oven and hob. Now the top does become part of the worktop space so you're getting more room here. If I lift that, that up we've then got the glass. Under the glass we've got an electric hot plate so you if you're on electric hookup you can use your electric. If you're off grid or you prefer to use gas you've got three gas rings so that's very good. And then we've got our grill and these are always a good size oven and grill. These are pretty standard across a lot of caravans. Um, they all te generally tend to go for this. So plenty of room in there. And underneath, there's a little bit of cupboard space there if I just drop that down. I'll close this. So as we come across, <laughs> if you like a drink, 
you can put your bottles in here. If you're not fussed, you could put cans of Pepsi Max, which is what I'd be putting in there. So you've got some, some holders there. Just remember, if you set off towing, I personally would take anything out of there that you have put in. So just be mindful of that. We've then got this cupboard under the sink. So if I open that up, we find there's shelving there. It's not very deep. I'll say that. I think that's where the gas bottle is on the exterior that we saw on the outside, which would explain why we've lost the depth there. Now, coming along, we have several pull-out drawers. These are fairly small drawers, to be fair, but they're within this part of the worktop, so they can only be so big. And we've got three of those all together, but that's where you're probably going to put cutlery and bits and pieces like that. On the edge of this worktop, we've got a place here to hang our tea towels or oven gloves or just whatever you want, really. Just put it there. Um, we do have an extractor fan, so that's excellent. Very good. And we've got a sunroof here, so we're letting plenty of light into here. And I must say today, the weather's not amazing and this feels very light and airy. So, yeah, it's got a good feel. I'll venture now onto the near side. So as we come over onto the near side, we've got this um, two piece door, the stable door. There's a bin as standard. There is a little drop down flap here. And that's just going to give you access to a couple of electrical bits under there. Above the door. So we've got our controls here for the water and the pump. So that's easily accessible when we come inside the caravan. On this side, coming across, we've got access here to those fuses. Now, under here, we're going to find a plug socket and an aerial socket for the television. And as we can see, there's a bracket here. Now, Bailey do give you one television uh, stand here that connects onto here. And you can actually take that with you and use it in the bedroom as well. So you can move that about. So that's quite a useful feature. And that's backed onto this fabric wall. We've then got a bit of space here. We've got here a wireless charger and it does also have a US USB in it as well. So that's what I meant when I said before about all these USB chargers. They are everywhere. We've got some sockets. We've got a little shelf there and then We've got some more shelving here for whatever you might want to, to pop in there. Now, as I come down, we're going to find the Dometic fridge and freezer. Now, this is 153 litre capacity, so that's, that's a lot. We've got a good size freezer and it's one of those that opens either way. So it's not magic. It's just made. I haven't done magic or wizardry. It's just made like that. So it just depends which way you stood. You can open it both ways. A little bit gimmicky, but people seem to like it. And you can see in there shelving, shelving, salad trays. So loads of room. And I think on a big eight foot van like this, a lot of people buy these to go for longer holidays or because they are a family um, or even for a seasonal pitch. So to have plenty of space there is really important. And then we find our fuse box just under there, if you're wondering what's, what's there. And last but not least, it's, there's, there's cupboards everywhere. Last but not least, there's actually a wardrobe here. Um, so if you've got people that are staying with you um, in the other two berths and they want some wardrobe space, you've got that here. And there's loads of room, to be fair, for big coats and shoes in this cupboard. So that's quite well thought about. Um, I like that. Um, we do here as well, before I venture further back, we do have a long mirror as well. So it's literally all the way to the floor. So instead of just being a, a waste of a wall, they've actually used this with a bit of thought and we've got a good sized mirror. And you can see as well above me, there's several little lights as well, just providing some illumination. So that is the lounge area, which I do like, the kitchen area, which I do like. And I'm going to move now into the washroom. It is a central washroom. And behind me, obviously, you can see the large island bed. So I've sort of spoiled that, but we'll get there. So I'm going to move back. But I'm just going to, first of all, show you this door closed. So this door is currently closing off the washroom and the toilet. So if I close this, it just gives you an idea of what that space is going to look like when it's closed. So what we'll do 
I think if we spin around and then you can go back there and I'll face that way and we'll have a look at these bits. So let's spin around. So we've spun around. I'm now facing the back of the caravan. The front is obviously directly behind me and this is the near side wall of the porto just so we can get our bearings. So this is the shower, the centre shower. I must say I like this. Again for £38,500 this is certainly on par with some of its competitors that are £10,000 more. We've got a good size shower screen with frosted plastic. I won't use the word glass today. If I step in it's not too high to step in. There's a good amount of floor space. We've got this really nice sort of backboard here that's like a, almost a marbly, uh, slaty effect. That's nice. A little mirror here. I'm too small to use it, to be honest, but there's a little mirror there. There's a light, there's the shower itself. There's a good shelf here for razors, shower gels, bits and pieces. We do have some intrusion here. That's obviously uh, where the wheels are. Uh, above, if we come up, we've got a little um, rack here for drying your towels and there is the hecky above to let out your, your steam when you've got yourself really warm in the shower. Good amount of headroom, not a bad amount of space in the shower cubicle itself. So yeah, I like this. I do like that. If we venture out now, with the, the door uh, open, what I do like is it's actually magnetic closure as well. So that's a little bit different. Um, we've got a good amount of floor space and I really like this little washroom. I'll just step in. So as I come in, there's somewhere for your towel to hang on here. Good size mirror and it's really nicely illuminated if you can see all around there. We've got this same backboard again. We've got our hot and cold water tap. It does move. You can get into that sink really easily. There's no shelves or any faffy bits that we don't need. Um, we've got a nice little worktop space here for putting things on as well. I do, I do like this. Um, under here, we've got a cupboard with good amount of shelving space just under there. There's also some further shelving there. We've got, I'll just step back. There's further storage actually under here as well. And then we've got the heated towel rail, part of the Alder system. This is the window I spoke about when I was outside. It's not frosted. It does have um, the blinds as well. So you can pull those up and down for privacy, but I'd just be really careful if you just happen to dive in here in the middle of the night to go to the loo and you haven't closed that and somebody's a bit higher up than you in a motorhome, they might see everything and you might not want them to see that. So that's just be careful of that one. We've got a little cupboard here. Again, not deep. It's um, maybe three, three women's inches, uh, but a little cupboard none the same. Storage on here if you wanted it. And then the Thetford swivel toilet and a toilet roll holder. There's a good amount of leg space around this toilet. I know I've sometimes mentioned things and you may wonder why I'm mentioning them. It's only when you come to use a caravan, when you take it and you go away, that you suddenly realise things aren't quite what you thought. So I point things out like that because they are useful to know. So good amount of leg space around that toilet. OK, I'll close this up. So shower and washroom. Yeah, really good. I'm going to move into the bedroom. So the bedroom, uh, we've got a large island bed. It's a good size bed. It's six feet and three inches in total length. It's currently retracted in day mode um, and that gives loads of good space for walking around it for getting changed. You've also got a little bit of space there. So plenty of floor room for changing. It's a wide bed, it's five feet wide. So when pulled out and in use, good size bed. I do like as well the headboard and the backboard in fabric. That just softens it up a little bit. We do find little LEDs under here and speakers. The LEDs both have USB chargers, which is great. So let's have a look at what storage we're getting. This is a little bit different. So we've got a first wardrobe here with rail, the Alder header tanks there. Again, a good size wardrobe. They've brought it out and then cut it in to make the bed, you know, that extra width, but that's good. 
this is different. So we've got somewhere to put our cups here from having our cups of tea, but this pulls up. So it's almost just like a cubby hole. The only thing I'm not so keen on that is if you do knock anything over and spill it, it's going to go straight in that hole and soak anything you've got in there. So just be careful. And equally, if you just catch it, you could, you could inadvertently pop it open and, and spill something, um, which that's maybe been a little bit finicky, but having been clumsy at times, I'm, I'm just uh, saying things I've noticed. Another good sized wardrobe space here and the same little um, pop open cubby as well on this side. And above the bed, we do get the overhead lockers. Good depth, good size. So pleased with those. And coming round onto this wall, we've got the window with blinds and fly screens. We've got the television point and the plug socket. And there's the bracket. You remember I mentioned in the lounge about the bracket where it comes off. You can take that off and you can just carry a television into here and use it in here if you wanted to do that. Otherwise, you're just going to need another bracket in here. A little bit of uh, shelving there and a little storage cupboard. And then I'll just show you the other side there. So I'll let you trot back there and I'll go over there again. So coming round onto this side, we've got a plug socket here. So if you wanted to use this mirror for you know, hair straighteners, hair dryer or anything like that, you've got a mirror and socket. We've, and then last but not least, we've also got some little storage cupboards just here at the side of the bed. I don't know how well you can see those with that bolster there, but you can put items under there on a night time. So the bedroom space, we've got good size windows on both sides letting in light. We've got a nice sunroof as well, again, letting in plenty of light and fresh air. Good size bed, loads of storage. We've got the USBs. And then we do have as well a privacy screen just here. So you can separate the bedroom from the center washroom, from the kitchen, and the lounge. I like the bedroom space, loads of storage. I do like this simple yet quite classy washroom and uh, shower room. I like this mirror. I like this kitchen. There's plenty of space here. There's everything we're going to need. And I like the lounge. I like that wraparound. It's been really interesting to have a look at the Porto. Um, as I say, it's about £10,000 cheaper than the competitors. Uh, such as the Buccaneer, the Coachman Laser. The build quality looks fairly sound on this. I would be quite tempted if you are looking at one of those other top of the range flagship caravans to look at the Alicanto Grande range because with the £10,000 that you are saving, you could add the EMP hydraulic self-leveling that those other caravans have which is going to be about three and a half thousand pounds. So you could add options to this to take it further up. But I definitely would not discount this. I've been pleasantly surprised. It's been a long time since I've looked at the Bailey Caravans. If you're interested in one of these, then obviously you can follow the links in the description below that I'll leave for the Leeds Caravan Centre and for Bailey. If you're interested in getting an insurance quote for this caravan, I'll leave a link for Caravanguard. You can get a 10% discount through that link. Yeah, do you know what? I've quite enjoyed having a look around this and I think that's maybe come out as well. So I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Leeds Caravan Centre near Leeds for letting me come and review the Porto today. It's really appreciated. And I think that's about all I've got to say. If you've got any questions, bob them down there and I'll, I'll, I will try my best to answer them. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.